Hello everyone and welcome back to GamerHacks channel. So this might be actually the most important video on my entire channel and this is how to build your class and how to test it and how to get the most out of each class. So let's start. Firstly guys, you will press on F2, then you will use Song of Trixion. Okay, once you use this song, you will come to this area. I know you already come to here multiple times, then you can on Beatrice, you can go to training ground, okay? Then after that, you will notice this bar here and it contains stats engraving. You can edit your stats engraving by clicking on here. Like you see, this is my current stats engraving. So I can click on that. And actually I can copy and paste any stats or engraving and they will tell you where you get the best build and on what base you will build it so firstly guys let's say you want to change your stats so i will put it 500 1000 whatever then i will press save then i will close that then i will choose this one then i will press go this is as you can see it, it edits my speciality and crit the same thing for engraving this is my current engraving i can actually change the engraving to anything else like i can build like that and press press save also press here then press go as you can see my engraving has been a change then after that you will notice that we have this guy this here which is the monster you will press on a scroll then you will press on pass then you will spawn the boss this is just like a training where you can test the amount of damage you can get so let's say you want to test a certain belt and what you normally do is going to battle time and click on time set timer settings uh for me i would like to increase it as much as i can as long as it's not boring you can get it to up to five minutes if you want to really test your dbs correctly if not and you want to do it faster just put it to one minute and that's it then after that you will notice that we have start test that shows up like that so and also receive cooldown receive cooldown let's say you used one of the skills i want to receive it so i will press here maybe you used this bar and you want you want to get it back so you press here so everything back to normal and uh also if you want to have infinity resources and stuff unlimited resources this one so you have actually unlimited resources you can keep trying forever but this is not this is not what I, I want to try. So, uh, yeah. Okay, oh. The Z is active. I need to... Yeah. So, what normally you are doing is you get you get a different build. Uh, based on what? So, there is a website uh, called Loa website. Come website. This one is a Korean website. Contains the best player in Korea. According to this website. So what normally you do, you check the website and you, let's say you are playing Sorceress like me. So you will press on Sorceress here. It will give you the best Sorceress in game. So normally you also see you, from the right hand, you can see what type of class engraving they are using. So this guy is using Igniter. This one is using Reflux. I will, by the way, explain later what is the best belt for Sorceress. So you simply press on here and maybe press on multiple guys to check what they are building or what skill they are using. So in most Sorceress, you will notice that they have a lot of engraving. And this is normal because now we are in tier 3. Tier 3 you can get actually 5 engraving easily. Uh, or not really that easy but you can get 5 engraving. But in tier 2, tier 1 you can get max 2 engraving or 2.21 or something like that. But in tier 3 you need to test actually how many engraving you can get and what type of engraving you can build. Because the monster in tier 3 is com completely different and they are way harder than tier 1, tier 2. Anyways, you go there, as you can see, there is also, you can change the website language to English in case if you are using Korean, and you can go to skills, and from skills, guys, you will notice that you can actually see the skill level, like you see they are increasing certain type of skills, and there is other skills that they don't max it, like this one, this one is only counter skill, so they leave it as level 4 or the lowest level. And 
Actually, you can also uh, check the skill tree by clicking on any of the skills. But the problem that you will find it in Korean. So what you're going to do if you want to translate it into English, you go to Korean. Then you refresh the website and translate actually the, the page to English. That's how you will get the skill name into English, not Korean. Why? Wait, okay. English, then go to here. You will notice that actually everything changes change it to English and as you can see now you can check which try which it's called tribot or skill tree they are using by the way this is really important choosing these are really really important let me show you guys in game so if I press K you need to check to click on these because they completely change the skill like now do you see this skill yes this is when I using this tribot what when I am using a different tribot let's say I will just make it to level zero and press save you will notice that actually now the skill is work is completely different do you see so actually it depends on what tribe you are using the skill will be act completely different so uh, normally you will uh, you will go to the website again and you need to actually get the skill tree and test based on that because you know people are building different uh pay skill tree depends on the the style of their gameplay because you know different player have different styles but for you since you are already a new player you can just keep trying all the styles until you find your own style in game you know and also guys there is uh reunes here oh wait the it was english now it's back to korean okay no. let me refresh yeah english so if you check here you can also see that actually they choose certain type of runes for each skill of course so since i am a sorceress uh, you know um i focus on this the rune that give me skill casting speed especially on these three skills because i am really slow in casting so that's why maybe this one you know is is really fast now 1.8 seconds because i have the rune. If I remove the rune, the casting time will be reduced. Uh, of course, I can reset cooldown and I can remove the rune from here. Let me choose this one. Yeah, and then I will unequip. So actually, the casting time will be increased by 0.2 seconds, but this is sometimes be a lot in during the fight. So it depends on what uh, what uh, class you are using you will choose the runes because there is different type of rune that the skill time uh, damage reduction uh you know bleeding the bleeding effect is also really cool you see the bleeding effect this one is keep damaging the the boss by, by a lot of damage like that you see 34,000 just like that so this this reuse is really important and you need to build them correctly correctly depends on your class because they will can they can increase your damage by a lot as well and the other thing you need to build as well correctly is the combat traits or the combat stats for your character. So as you can see, the Sorceress Igniter, and this one by the way that builds class engraving Igniter, he builds a speciality with it. Why speciality? I will and I will tell you later in another video. But depends on what class engraving you are using, you will use either a speciality for Sorceress and uh let me see if there is another sorceress okay let me go back to the website i need sorcerer that play reflux okay this one is playing reflux uh so the sorcerers that play reflux in this case he playing crit and swiftness uh, let me translate it to english so you can see so as you can see he doesn't build a speciality he built swiftness and so this guy here is building different he's building speciality uh and fatal but you will notice that the guy that's built speciality he's playing igniter the guy that plays reflux he's playing swiftness and fatal so this is of course depends on your class since i'm playing igniter like you will notice that i'm actually playing igniter that's why i increase my speciality and if you read your speciality you will understand why because normally uh, a speciality with igniter that the speciality increases the the damage that comes from the uh, the elemental uh, attacks like this so these are the most important of course uh, so uh, elemental damage will be increased by 553 percent 
and this is really important but uh, you need of course it can only be increased while you are using the Z like do you see I want to show you now so let's say I am using Z I will use Z then I will use my meteor do you see three three million and five hundred now I will use the same skill but uh sorry I will I will use the same skill but without the Z So the damage is only 500, of course, this one didn't crit, but even if it crit, it will not be 3 million, no way, it will be only max 1 million. So this is the difference. Of course, if I did stats and make my speciality 0, and I tested with, with Z again, let me recover this one, use Z, then I will use it. 600, even if it crit, it will not give this amount, okay, let me... Please crit, please crit. 1.8 million. That's why speciality is really important. Otherwise, you don't really deal damage. Like 3.6 to 1.8, that's huge difference. So speciality are really, really important in case if you are playing Igniter. But if you are playing the other one, Reflux, it's a different story. And I will try to explain later that when I am talking about sorcerers and how you build sorcerers. And before I end the video, guys, I want to mention that you should actually ignore these uh, sets for now because these sets will not come until Uprushot is actually in game. But we still have at least maybe one year or something to be able to get these items. So we will get firstly Argos, then Valton, then Vekis, and later on. And I will try to explain which item you should use when, especially when Valton comes out, because Valton will get a set that has. Uh, some bonus like these and of course if you read these bonus you will understand that they are really really strong But I will talk about that later when actually Vulton comes out So make sure to subscribe and see you guys in the next one. Bye